Hi guys and welcome back to Tanky Tea of Life. I'm your host Veronica. We have Tawan back with us again tonight and we have a very special guest in the hot seat, Quindlin. Did I say that right? Yes, Quindlin Bynes. And Quint. I'm gonna just say Q. Quint. That's fine. That's fine. That's All fine. right, Q. We're gonna go with Q because I, I can I can butcher a name like real fast. <laughs> All right, so Q is with us tonight for this very special tea. She is a teacher at South Florence High School. South Florence mm -hmm. High School in Florence, South Carolina. And you know, today was a big day for all the teachers around South Carolina. Um, they met up at the rally at um, the State House in Columbia, South Carolina. So we decided to make this all about the teachers today. All right, so that's what we're gonna be talking about on Tangy Tea tonight. Um, we're gonna talk about all the people that showed up and supported this morning at the state house for the teachers but first q we want you to, to tell us a little bit about yourself what you do at south florence my name is quindlin <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> yes i am currently working at south florence high school as a special needs assistant i've been there since 2008. Um, i've been in the district for 13 years um, i love my job i love the kids and today was the rally. Yeah, and you say you love your kids. That's the big. That's the big thing. You have to love what you do. You have to love kids to be a teacher. That's what they said at the rally too. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. like some people get in it just so it's a job. Right. Yeah. But you have to love what you do to be a teacher. I love them like my own. Yes, and see, and that's good to hear coming from a teacher because you do have some teachers that act like they don't care. Right. You know about just there the for students. The Right, there for the paycheck, you know, so that's great to hear. So you've been teaching for 13 years? Yes, ma'am. So over the 13 years, what changes have you seen, like just minor or major changes? Yeah. In any field? Yeah, any, any part of the school district since you've been in the school district? Um, I've seen teachers come and go. Um, some schools I know have been without a teacher a whole year. So they had a substitute the whole year? They combine the classes. I substitute. See, and that's what they talked about at the rally. They talked about <laughs> how the the guidelines is a 2009 guideline, and we're in 2019. That's but they're still years. right. Ten years. We still they're still teaching, teaching it off of a ten year guideline. Yeah. It says that a class is supposed to be 14 students. That representative Jennings, I think it was Jennings, I'm not mistaken. Could have been another man. I know he was a, a white man. He was real. He was real um, religious, and he said that um, he said that he would give you twenty dollars if you can go to a classroom, and there's only twenty uh, less than twenty kids in the class. He said you won't find that. Yeah, because most classrooms are twenty five. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, overcrowded classrooms. Overcrowded, That's crowded. something that they're fighting for. Right. And on top of the pay, and at the beginning of. January, when our semester changed, one of the classes at South Florence had 30 children. 30 in 30, one class? One class had to ask for this. So how do, how do you teach a classroom of 30? That's that's a job in a pod. I know at our, in our pod at work, when I was working at, at Blue Cross, I think our pod didn't even have 30 people. And we yeah. grown. Right. That's we don't right. need supervision. Too many bodies in one room. So how right where y'all where they sitting on top of each other like how many teachers are in that class just one, one right one and she got to watch all thirty of those 30, kids right. or he got to watch all, all 30. thirty kids so if they cheating I mean they won't know won't know because they so close close yeah, to each other that's a lot and they were saying they need they need to spend less time on testing more time mm -hmm. on teaching. You know, I mean, the rally was real, real good. It I, was I'm, glad, good. I'm glad I watched it. I haven't watched it yet. It, it's, it's out there. To. Yeah. And it's a lot. They had a lot of keynote speakers, had a lot of representatives from the state. They had um, the sellers man from um, Bakari, Bakari sellers from Denmark. I think he's going to be the next Barack Obama. Oh, my God. He's he running he for president. Awesome. He's, he is, awesome. is he running? I don't think I, so. No. I don't, he is awesome. <laughs> yeah, he is. I, I can listen to him. And then he was talking about, you know, the four the four students that in Greensboro when they went and sat at the um at the 
cafes, on the white owners, whatever. And people was on the pod, on the on the on the live feed. Why are you talking about race? Why are you talking about race? But then you, if you follow the message, it came to the end where as everybody when these kids were banned. It was start like a rally. People supported them. And that's what they did today in Columbia. People rallied around all the teachers and support. They said over 10,000 10, people was there. That included educators, supporters, and students. Right. You know, that was it, awesome. it, it was. It and was I'm awesome. trying to figure out why. I wonder why all the districts didn't, didn't close, close down. down for that. Because it was too much light, right? Yeah. It was too much light, yeah. right? And then you have Florence County District where the superintendent, he goes to the predominantly white schools to substitute. What about Timrod or what about North Vista or what about, you know, the the school dishes on the north side of town? He went he went there to substitute for he, teachers yep. that went to the rally? Quote, unquote substitute, yeah. The district had 238 teachers out today. 238. They went to the rally, I mean, just they to go to the, to the rally. rally. Mm -hmm. That's Florence District. Florence District one. Mm. Yes. And that's good because they said out of seven, um, I think we got 42, either 46 districts in the state of South Carolina, seven were shut down mm -hmm. for, the for the rally. But then you had teachers, did they have a rally in North Carolina? Mm -hmm. So they had a rally in North Carolina too. Their school district was shut down too. Yeah, their, all of North Carolina, yep. Mercenburg County, theirs was shut down completely. It should have been a day. Then you had people complaining. Um, they already got to make up hurricane days. They got to make up these days. Okay, it's May 1st. You gonna tell me from May first to June fourth, we'll never last day of school. Your child gonna miss no more days. June seventh, <laughs> your child gonna miss no more days between nine and. Yeah, they gonna miss. They gonna miss. They gonna miss senior cut. What senior cut already happened? Yep. I mean, they're they gonna miss a day. Either gonna be sick, doctor's appointment. My I don't feel like going to school. They better yep. go ahead and stay home. Mm -hmm. So why was it so important that they couldn't miss today? Why today couldn't have been a a, a day off for the teachers to support? It was my day off, but that's another. What needs to be done? <laughs> it was your day off, but did you go to the rally? No, nope. you didn't go. Why do you? Why didn't you attend? Do you feel like? Because you know some people are afraid to, to participate. Uh, yeah, and to express their voice or you know fear of fear retaliation. Of, yeah, right. Like, so was that something that you faced, or you just didn't want? I to just didn't want to go. Too emotional. Or just too hot, Let, baby. Hot. They said, but in the eighties, they said was, 80s, they said was yeah. They hot. said it was hot, hot. Mm. Like fish grease hot today. Wow. But before I came here, I did see um, some of the teachers from South there. Four. Just four. 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 Four teachers from South Lawrence mm -hmm. attended. One regular ed, and the other ones were special ed. Well, what do you think? Do you think it was necessary? Yes, because we are underpaid. What we have to put up with. Five days a week, we need more pay than that, what we get now. Yeah, because they say the teachers, they want to see more support from their district leaders, um, with help with um, disrupt, disruptive Disrupted. students, mm -hmm. and um, smaller classrooms. So they, that's what they're really fighting for. And you so know, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. And, I, and you know, to read comments on these posts, because you know, I go toe for toe on them news yes, articles, honey. And these people are like, if you break it down, they're only there 100 and one person said on this news feed, teachers will teach for 180 to 188 days a year. The salary is 32,000. That's good. Good. Where you living? In a shack? What you, what you, I mean. Come for 180 days. Teachers come for 190 days. So. I mean, either way. I mean, no that's, a, that's a tough job. Mm -hmm. I always say teachers and police officers My husband are said the same underpaid. Thing. He said the yes. same thing. You got the teachers that's teaching our kids. That's practically Babies babysitting keeping them all day long. Right, all day. Babysitting. And then you got police officers that out there Because most parents, for their life. when you <laughs> drop your child off at 7, 7.30, 7 7.15, 7.45, 5 o'clock, because four? half of them go to after school care after school. So then the after school care people got your care until you get out of work at 5 o'clock, 5.30, 6 o'clock. Then you go home. Then you got to cook. Then you put them in the bed. Most little kids are in the bed by what, 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock. So when you so said you're spending that, three hours with your child a day. Yeah. Pretty much. If they go to after school care. And most working parents send their kids to after school care because that's what you do when you work. You Somebody got to watch your child, especially right. at their elementary age. I do. Um, go ahead, Q. You want to say something? Oh, I was going to touch on her topic where you said elementary starts at 7.15, get out. 
Oh, we start at 8.30. Y'all won't believe what time those parents come and pick up their children. From the special, what time? Mm-mm, not just special needs, like regular kids. Mm -hmm. Oh, they have been um, out there 6, 7, 8 o'clock at night. What? Yes. Waiting on parents. Yes. But y'all don't get paid for that. Nope. See? And see, we have to... Be there. You know, be there. You can't leave the child can't at leave the there. Nope. Who can... Because I know, I remember... So, but my thing is, you work in, school gets out at 3.30. Right. By 4 o'clock, everybody is gone. We can't leave at 3.50. Why is your child still there at 7 or 8 o'clock at night? That's crazy. That don't happen often, I hope. Yes, ma'am. This is an everyday basis. No. Yes, ma'am. This is an everyday basis. I know my daughter, we found a... Um, uh, my grandmother was in rehab, and we found a, a student's ID at the rehab center. She went to South Florence, and I think we left the rehab facility about 6.30, and I was like, Chris, we just take that tomorrow. She's like, no, my somebody at the school, and mm -hmm. sure enough, yeah. kids was sitting around in the, mm -hmm. in the what's that, the, 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 in the, for, in the front, yeah, in the foyer, the foyer mm -hmm. waiting on their rides. That's crazy. And that's about 6.30, 6 seven, almost 7 o'clock. I'm like, every what sport every. they play? Right. Now, records show that 5,300 teachers That's what they um, said, um, gave up teaching education last year. Last year. Because of the pay. Because of the pay. 5,300. In and, South Carolina alone. In South Carolina alone. Then they said this one man, he was an engineer, in the state of South Carolina, he was an engineer for 33 years. And he wanted to teach. He got a degree to teach. He said he's only been, te this is his first year in education. Now he's rethinking it to go back into his field of engineering. But he, duh, because engineering the, teaching. But, yeah. but it's not even about the money with him. Oh, it's I about the passion. The, I thought he was trying to pay. And, and the passion with the students. But you don't have support of the district or support of the state. Back in, like you said, the, the classroom sizes, mm -hmm. the funding, because they give you a supply fund, right? Mm -hmm. But that doesn't cover supplies for the whole year. Well, what happened to those supplies at the parents? That's a good question. <laughs> No, we do get a supply check at the beginning of the year. We take that and we buy what we need. But I do have parents who do provide, but December, January, we need more supplies. Now, is and that, that has to come out our pocket. Right. Now, is that because some parents don't provide the stuff yeah. that's needed but when their kids start at the beginning mm -hmm. of the year, so you will run out faster, and, mm -hmm. and you all, the teachers have to go in their pockets mm -hmm. and pay for supplies? We have to show FYI, the taxes come every year between the March and February ish. <laughs> February, March ish. You know your child go back to school every year in August ish. <laughs> Buy supplies when you get the tax money. It's simple. Because, you know, some people and be you like, can rack up what? First of August? Yeah. Okay. Tax free. Tax free. Yeah. But some people, and I've heard people, I'm not, I'm not, why, why they got Kleenex on the list? What need Kleenex? I'm not getting this. Because they know it's be snotty in the Germs. spring of time. Yes. Hand sanitizer. Why do they need all this hand? Why they need all this hand sanitizer? Well, they taking it home, like, no. like that's the things that you hear. That's why they don't get half of the supplies that be on the list. My son graduated from Coastal with a degree in uh for sports med sports medicine. He loves to teach. I mean, he has a passion for teaching, mm -hmm. and he know he coached like basketball and stuff, whatever. So um, the principal, Dr. Robinson, told him, you know, if he go back and get his master's, he will try to get a curriculum at Wilson for sports medicine. And I asked him, I said, son, because he said he would never come back to Florence because there's no jobs here in Florence. Mm -hmm. I said, son, do you really want to come back to Florence and teach? He said, yes, ma, I do. He said, because that's my passion. And, and it's needed. And, Especially black yeah. men. It's needed. It's needed in the school district. We do district. have a curriculum at the career center for sports so much, But he wants it at, at the school, at the school okay. itself. Yeah, it's needed. Yeah. Wow. Well, and, and speaking of, it is a teacher's shortage. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, yesterday when I went online, um, special needs had 29 Tw positions open. 29? 29. 29. Regular ed had 27 positions open. And that's what, Florence County alone? That's Florence School District 1. All right. Dang. Wow. Just in the school district. Wow. And they had a couple of administrators positions open, whether they were in the high school, in the middle school, and at the district office. Wait a minute, say that again about administrators? What? They had positions the, open. They had positions open either at the elementary school or the high school or the middle school and at the district office. They do have an administrator at the district office. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. But then yeah. you need degrees for all of those. Ain't nobody going to school for no four years to be no teacher. I can teach somebody what they need to do, and I ain't got to have no degree. Mm -hmm. I can manage my job at my job, and I don't have to have a degree, but you got to have a degree to be a manager. Managers be in position and don't know what the hell they're doing. They come and ask the employees what, <laughs> what to, do. to do. I feel like you have to be trained. Any job you do, yeah, yes, any you job you to, get, yeah, you're going to have to, to be, be trained, trained for it. Right. But uh, I can't be up there on no board doing no math problems, and I don't know math. <laughs> okay. Science I read this. So, uh, I, I ain't going to. You know what? Let me just let me just read a book. I read to the first grader, to the second grader. Yeah, we need we need kindergarten. Y'all yeah. Kindergarten? We're going to call them. Yes, they do. Honestly, they do. Really? Yes. Look, look. Yes. They're going to be in there. We're going to go apply <laughs> to be a kindergarten teacher. Okay. Yes, yes. I don't know, because I'm some badass children, too. Yes. The 4K, well, that's the level you want. Yeah. Yeah, they do have a special yeah. company. Wow. And you can be her sister because they have a yeah. yeah. Let's yeah, do it. Men to one in a class together. Baby, listen. <laughs> Nothing will get done. <laughs> Them kids be ready to go fun. to school. They have fun, though. <laughs> Them kids be ready to go to school. I want to go to school on Saturday. Okay. I go to school today, Mom. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to Miss B and Miss T class. Okay. Come on in, baby. But on a serious note, we need to get out there and vote. And I'm not talking about only when voting for who's going to be the next president. Like we Midterms. Need, yes. It is Midterm elections serious. play a, a big part in yes, the, pri the primary. Mm -hmm. And if you don't vote midterm, why, there's no need to even vote primary. Because no, you're, you're lining up for who your next leader is going to be right. when you do your midterm elections. And people don't understand that you got to vote midterm and you got to vote for these primaries. Right. It's just simple. That's like, right. voting was, what, last year, 2018? Yeah. It, voting was so low. Yeah. It was yeah, so low. Was. But then here come 2020 when the time for the president, and y'all wonder why 45 is back in office, because nobody don't go right. vote. You wonder why 45 is in office anyway. Well, I'm not voting for Hillary Clinton. That's less of the two evils. Well, who would you prefer? Right. Yeah. If you don't vote, who you think going to win? I mean, it's just logical. People don't think about when it comes to, you know, I'm preaching politics, honey. I'd be, I'm all, I'd be all over the place it's on okay, social media. It's okay, it's okay. I'd be entertainment, I'd be politics, I'd be drama, petty, and messy. <laughs> but I know everything, though. Entertainment, sports, <laughs> but you can't ask me no question, I can't give you no answer. I don't know it. Guess what? Wait a minute, let me go to my friend. Who your friend? Okay. Google. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's going to be on the internet. Google is your friend, honey. Yes, all yes. day long. Every day. I promise you. So how do y'all feel about um, homeschooling? I was thinking about that, seriously. But then I'm like, well, will my son get the social part of, I mean, that's you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, the, yeah. that's the thing. Social. That's right. The interaction, yeah. social interaction. So then when he graduates homeschooling and he goes out in the real world, he'll be looking at people like, ew. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Why are you doing that? Why are you talking to me? Yeah. I never you know? thought about homeschooling. I never thought about it either. I, I don't. That. Did it even have homeschooling back when my children was? I don't it, even know. It, no. it was there, but it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't big then. Like you didn't hear much about homeschooling, but right. you hear it a lot. You hear now. a lot yeah. now, and I, and you hear it a lot now because people are so afraid because it's so much evil in the mm. world. That's the scary part. Just like yesterday, the shooting at the UNC yeah. in, oh, North, yeah. in Charlotte. Charlotte. It's just, and then the crazy thing about it, the little Did boy, he, he just dropped out this semester. Oh. Oh my God! He just dropped out this semester and went and back, went and, back sh and, and shot, shot up what That's six crazy. people and killed two and two. four were wounded. Yeah. Of course, he walked out in handcuffs, but hey, who am I to judge? Years old. <laughs> yeah. The rest of his life. Yeah. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. And after, and then when they arrested, he smiled at the camera. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, he smiled at the camera, I honey. Missed that one. He smiled. If, if, uh, the post I shared, the post I shared was a post I think I North Carolina. Well, who is? Whatever the boy name is, okay. and if you scroll down and had pictures of him, and he looked back at the camera, stuck his tongue out, and smiled. He was like, "Ah, like, yeah, I got, yeah." Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, Wait, did he get in that jail? Oh, look. It, but crazy. the thing about it is, he was in handcuffs. He wasn't dead. Mm. He wasn't gunned down. That's well, sad. <laughs> I mean, where they crazy. found him at? I didn't really at the him. school. I mean, was so he, he was like still there? I think he was still there. I don't, I don't. I didn't read all the article. Wow. Because yeah, that's crazy. Was there anything else you would like to add, Q? About you know what? What change would you like to see? 
in the school system? I would like for the teachers to have more money, more money, more money, more help, um, and more pay. Because I do bus duty, y'all. And they used to pay us for bus duty. They no longer pay us for bus duty. So that's extra hours after your... We get comp time. Mm -hmm. So I would like, he, Dr. O'Malley did say he wanted us to be paid, but we're going to see how that works out. Speaking of, there is a school district meeting. It was supposed to be t t tomorrow, the 2nd, at 7 o'clock, but it was postponed until the 9th at 7 o'clock. They are encouraging all Florence County School District parents to be in attendance. We know that ain't gonna happen. They but need we just to go saying. to see what's really going yeah. on. Right, that's what I said. If you don't go, you don't know. Where's right. it at? At the district. Okay. Yeah, you definitely need to participate. Yeah. In, in that stuff, if you can, I mean, understand if you're working. Right. But right. If you can make it, definitely take time to make these meetings. Right. At least one per, because they have two per session, right? Mm -hmm. Or they have two, somebody said they have two a month or two per session, whatever. But anyway, just, I mean, I don't have school age kids, but I just be involved in stuff. I be see what's going on. But, and then another thing with the food services, they're, they're trying to do away with um, hot lunches, the people cooking for lunch. Really? They, cafeteria workers. Yeah. Yeah. They're trying to, they start to do it, some like grandfather in or something, but then come to find out, they're not even paid by the district. Mm -hmm. I found that out today. They're paid by the outside agency long as I've been in the district, I found it out of that. Yeah. Wow. So it's a lot that that you would find out once you go to this, you know, if you go to the hearing on yeah. the 9th, it's a lot of stuff that you would, you would hear and you, you would learn that you didn't know. So, and I mean, and with the rally that they just had, that's probably why they postponed it because of the rally. See, next week they're going to think it up and I die down. People won't be so riled up. Yeah. Whereas if the rally was tomorrow, I mean, if the meeting was tomorrow, the rally was today. Then they could have questioned, well, why wasn't we off for the ride? Why didn't the district close? You know, could it, you know, drill them on that. But I guess by next week, you know, shit that old around here. <laughs> In two days, we <laughs> on something. We, we on something else. Something else. Something be done pop off. We don't forgot about the little rally and yeah. forgot about the teachers and. This, I mean, this, this is something big. That's huge. This mm -hmm. is like making history for all of those teachers. Right. To um be at that that rally this morning. Uh, do you think change will come behind this? I pray that it will. Right, and I think it's going to start with your select officials. Who you vote in office yeah. is exactly. where it's going to start. I mean, it's not going to, I mean, we can preach and we can march and we can pray, but it's going to start with votes. Mm -hmm. And I, they, they, at the rally, they say, I teach, I vote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then they said something about people in the office that don't never be in the classroom. So how are you going to run a school district or a classroom when you've never been in there? You're in the office. So, it, but it, it was a lot. It was a lot. So maybe it, maybe a change will come. Who's saying that? <laughs> Back to singing. <laughs> Otis Redding. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, it's so many of them did, did that song. Yeah. Well. But yeah, that's the best one, though. Yeah, change gonna come. Oh, man. Well, Q, thank you so much for coming and sitting down with us You're tonight. Welcome. You're we welcome. We pray that things will get better for you and all the teachers out there. We know, we, we know you guys work hard. We appreciate everything all of you teachers do out there because if it wasn't for you all where would our kids be you know what where I'm saying? Would we be? Where, yeah where would we be where you know it, it, and them old school teachers oh my gosh right. they still got something wrong they used to be the best for 50 years mm -hmm. and yes mm -hmm. yes yeah so we appreciate you teachers hats off to you all and hopefully this will bring change to the school systems um, but thank you so much for watching Tangy Tea of Life. Tawan, thank you. You know, it's great as always to see you. And Q, once so. again, thank you for coming. You're, you're family now, so you're welcome anytime. All right. All right, guys, so make sure you go and like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Say it again. Nope. Our page, <laughs> Tangy Tea of Life on Facebook. Also, go to YouTube, you guys. We need for you to go to YouTube and watch the full video. Search Tangy Tea of Life and click subscribe. And click that bell so that you can get notif notifications on the next video. All right, guys. Until next time.